we are right on the cusp of rolling out on large scale billions and billions of gallons of truly low carbon renewable fuels. Syngest takes renewable biomass, things like wood chips after harvesting trees for other purposes, corn stover, the other leftovers from growing food, and we convert that into nitrogen fertilizer products like ammonia and urea, which are 100% energy products that are made today from fossil fuels. And, and with our process, we can make them completely renewable and carbon free, in fact, carbon negative. Here's a, one of our wheat fields that we just recently harvested. And I was wondering, is uh, the straw that would, would have come off this wheat field, would it, it be a product you could use in your biomass? What I see here is an unfortunate wasted opportunity, right? We could have used everything. You know, take, take the food product, everything else we could have used. Would have created many tons of nitrogen fertilizer. Well, that sounds like a great idea. It's, uh, I know right now a lot of our nitrogen sources are coming out of the Middle East, so anything we can do to transition from that and get it to American-made products would be a good idea as far as I'm concerned. We are just about to embark on building our first commercial scale plant and that will be the first domino of what will be hundreds of these plants in the United States uh, and also throughout California. We will produce about 350 jobs per project during construction and 40 jobs uh, of permanent jobs that are on site and then there's about another 100 or 150 jobs that are needed to support it by the growth harvesting and delivery of both the biomass and then the distribution of the product. Low carbon fuel standard is actually one of the best things for business going and for not only companies in uh, California but all throughout the Midwest. Farmers understand that having the ability to sell their leftovers, their co-products from growing food to a facility like ours is a way to garner new income. Here's the biggest segment of the world economy, energy. Uh, it continues to grow like a weed. Uh, and if you can build a company around technology that, uh, ha which has to be economically viable, competing against the incumbent industry of fossil fuels, not only can you make an enormous amount of money, you can be doing something incredibly meaningful at the same time. And I can't think of a better job to have.